I'm not sure who this message is for, but God just put this on my heart. Whoever this video got to, like, I'm not sure how you came across this video, but I promise you that you want to stay until the end of this video because I promise you I have something that's going to change your life. And I'm going to go ahead and get straight right into it, but let's pray together. Lord, I thank you for the person that discovered this video. I pray, Lord, you will use me as your willing vessel to speak to your people. Play me as your instrument, Lord. I just want to be used. And the person watching this video, I pray, Lord, that they will feel your presence. I pray that they will come to the knowledge of who you are and the fact that you love them. The fact that you're watching over them and the fact that they are more than enough. Help them to not uh, try to win the world's approval because your word says that we're in this world, but not of this world. So we don't fit in and, and we're going to learn to be OK with that. Because you called us for a special purpose for such a time as this. I pray you will speak to them even more in this video and just use me in Jesus' name. I thank you for using me, Lord. I love you and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. So check this out. Outside my home, there's about four wasps nests, okay? And I'm going to be real with you. I've been procrastinating. That's why I turned into four nests. At first, it was just one. And, you know, it was just a little bitty tiny nest in the in, in the corner. It wasn't bothering nobody. I saw one little waltz over there. He looked like he was trying to build it. And, you know, I had other stuff I had to do. I mean, that really wasn't my concern. It wasn't a danger. But see, that's my fault because I procrastinated. Here we are a couple of months down the line. Homeboy got a cousin over here, an auntie over here. Uh, he got a neighbor over here. He got, they got four nests and y'all, they, they running the show outside. As a matter of fact, the other day I was out there, you know, I had to duck a few times, you know, that's when you know it's getting bad. So now guess what? It's time for me to do something because that's on me. I procrastinated. That's my fault. Nobody fault but, but me. I ain't going to blame the waltz. He's just doing what he does. So guess what? I got to have the right stuff for these guys. You can't go out there with just water or pickle juice or little silly stuff. No, you got to have the right stuff for these guys. Let me tell you what you need. There's a certain kind of waltz and hornet spray that you use. And here's what it does. It's, it don't just go in there and just kill them. No, 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 no. It sprays out in a foam-like substance. Now you may say, why does it spray out in a foam substance? Like they trying to take a bubble bath or something, you know, bubbles everywhere, foam everywhere. No, this is why, check it out. When you spray the foam like substance on their nest, here's what it does. It foams up, it bubbles up so that it can suffocate them so that they can't run out. If you spray that nest with this stuff, you're not going to see nothing. Nobody, you know, no hornet is flying out. They're not trying to run after you and bite you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just quiet for like five minutes. Then you see them dropping down to the ground and, and they dead. They're suffocated. They can't breathe and they have no way out. It forces them to stay where they're at and to just suffer and it suffocates them. If a wall sit under there and, you know what I'm saying, breathe that stuff and that stuff all on the back of his neck, man, look, he good as gone. And see, the reason, I'm going to be real with you, the reason I didn't attack that first nest is because I knew I had the right stuff and, and I could kill him at any moment. You know what I'm saying? I knew I could handle my business at any moment, that wall nest. That's why I really wasn't tripping. Now that it's four, it's game time. See what I'm saying? When I spray them, it's over with. It's a done deal. Here's why I told you that that's so important when it comes to you. See, man, listen. Oh, man. Thank you, Lord. Jesus has given you the right stuff. See, you got to have the stuff that stick like a spider. A spider can stick. It got the, the, the web. It got the, it got the right stuff. Jesus is giving you the right stuff. It's his spirit. You understand me? And once you truly understand who you are and whose you are, you will walk around and you won't fear the enemy. Like I don't fear that wasp nest. Now don't get me wrong, I might duck a few times, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't scared of them. 
I'm not going to live my life in fear. I'm not going to stay in the house and say, oh, there's a wantsness out there. No, I know I got the right stuff. See, when you use, see, let me tell you something. When the devil tempted Jesus, what did Jesus do? Jesus spoke the word. You understand me? And what should you do as a believer? You got to speak the word. That's the right stuff. The Bible says that God's word, right, shall not return back to him void. You understand what I'm saying? That means if he said it, that settles it. That means his word is true. Luke 10, 19 says, uh, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. So guess what? You have authority over the enemy. You have the right stuff. You got that waltz and hornet spray. So I challenge you to speak the word. The enemy try to tempt you with something. The enemy, uh, 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 the enemy try to come against you with this, with that, with this, with that. Speak the word. Cast those thoughts down. Speak the word. Suffocate that nest. You understand? Speak the word over your situation. I know you may be feeling down and out right now. Speak the word over your situation. Say, I, I am more than a conqueror. Yes, tomorrow or the day after that or whatever you're dealing with. Yes, it may look tough, but guess what? God is tougher. He's the Alpha and the Omega. That means he's already ahead of you. No need to, to worry about tomorrow. I'm going to tell you why. Because God is already there. And you got the right stuff to keep speaking. And you're going to be all right. When you get to speaking that word, man, watch how the devil get out of your way. Because the devil looking at you like, dang, he got the right stuff. Nah, I can't bully him no more. I can't bully her no more. Guess what the devil going to do? He going to say, man, come on, y'all. Let's, let's go find somebody else to pick on. Because you done... Under you done tapped into the fact that you already got the right stuff. You just gotta walk in it. You just gotta speak in it. You just gotta be bold. I love you so much. Hit the like button if you appreciate these videos. Subscribe to the channel. If you made it to the end of this video, here's what I need you to comment. Say, through Christ, I have the right stuff. Once again, through Christ, I have the right stuff. Comment that down below and let me know you made it to the end of the video. Man, I love you so much. I promise you, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I love you. New videos every day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you, and I will see you on the very next video.